Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing an unboxing of some of the parts I have ordered for my ZMR250 build, and yes, I am building a um, good hobby-grade um, brushless quadcopter, and this is part one of my parts unboxing, because I've got a ton of things, and now I have went sort of the budget route, and now I did not go, like, ultra-budget. I did get an extra motor, an extra ESC, um, a power distribution board. I got a couple extra things, um, but it is fairly budgeted. And for this unboxing, this is all my Hobby King orders. Um, I have four boxes here, and I just wanted to show this box. Um, I believe this is my the battery for my remote that I got. Look at look at that. that from Arizona. That whoops, it came. I don't know. This wasn't even China Post fault, but USPS got, got all smashed up. But if the battery was damaged, it would be burned up. So I don't think it is. So let's start off with this box up front here. Let's see. Oops, bump the camera a little bit. Okay, let's open that up. And this, I think, is my batteries. Yep, my three lipos that I got. There we go. And there, so that was just packaged with um, brown paper, so not too bad. Obviously, they didn't get damaged. Um, and we have a pack of, I believe I ordered five XT60s, five male, five female, so five pairs. So that's going to be nice, um, so I can charge these. Let's open these, we got a little battery warning. Here's the first battery. Let's open this, just cut it. Okay, there we go. It's a, I got Turnigy Nanotech 1300 milliamp hour, 45 to 90 C, 3S LiPos, because these are um, supposedly pretty much the best you can get um, in terms of the 3S and in terms of because if you get the heavier 2200 milliamp hours you're just it's just too heavy and it's not going to be nearly as much performance and I got three of these and now I'll link all of these down below especially um these batteries they go out of stock really quick because I know I was watching them for a long time and they um they were out of stock so here's the second one and we have the third one here so they came in stock the one night and I bought it. I bought three real quick, and then they were out of stock within another three days, I think. So yeah, they go out really quick. So there we go. I have my three Nanotech batteries. That's awesome. Just, just looking at them, that's really cool. Okay, so we have that, and then we have there. So let's set those over there for now, and then I'll focus that, and then we'll get into this one, which open this. And this I'm pretty sure is my. Um, main parts order and I ordered a couple from those were from the US because if you ordered these from the Chinese warehouse and ship them to the US um, custom shipping was like 20 bucks more because of their dangerous lipos so let's get we have a uh, two plastic bag wraps here but this one's popped it looks like so I hope nothing got damaged on top we have I ordered um, some of their blue velcro because I've heard a lot of good things about this, and all this Velcro, it's both sides hook and loop, and it was like two bucks for um, two meters of Velcro. Let's see, we have a warning. Don't want that. And then we have a big bag here, and looks like that's it in that box. No other um, safety wrap packaging, but hopefully nothing got damaged. So now we have a big plastic bag here full of stuff. So let's, these should be, these little white boxes should be my motors. And this unboxing will probably be a little long as it is, so that's why I'm doing it in two parts. My next part will be my Banggood order and um, some of the things I got off of eBay. So, let's, how do I open this? Um, never opened these little boxes before. Okay, there we go, got it. And then we have the adapters, uh, 5 and 7 millimeter M2. And then here's the motor. Oh, wow, that's cool. My first ever seeing a brushless motor. That is really cool. I got the DYSBE180613 brushless motors. They're um, about 10 bucks a piece, and I would have got them on Banggood. Um, they're actually a little bit cheaper on Hobby King, but Hobby King had this red version. They only had the red version, and I think the red looks so good, especially on the black carbon fiber frame I got. Um, the ZMR250, this red should stand out really well. So it looks awesome. I've never even held a brushless motor before. I don't even think I've seen them in real life, I don't think, because there is no local hobby shop around me, so 
everything I have to get online. Here's the second motor. Just open these all up real quick. And these are 2300 kV. Um, and now most of the parts I'm using, um, because um, if any of you know, RC Model Reviews, he did a build video. Um, so that's pretty much what all my parts are from. Uh, I'm using mostly his recommendations and also Dutch RC Adventures. He's been a big help in helping me get um, all the products I need sorted out. So if you haven't checked out his channel, it's really nice. So let's get this last motor out. Ugh, man, this little foam, but that's good that they put it there. Help protect the stuff. So, okay, there's a box. <laughs> so much stuff to throw out after this. Okay, there we go. I'll just hold up the motors real quick, just so you can see. And I got five of them, so in case one um, one doesn't work, I'll have a spare. I mean, I'd, I'd still get the, um, I'd still make them give me a new one, but... Oops, dropped it. Okay, that's good enough, but at least I won't have to wait a while. And now, because this order was so big, I had to get it from Hobby King with Swiss Post shipping, and that was like 20 bucks, but it came from China in like four days, so... Um, and I haven't opened it because I was waiting for this. And we have a little Turnigy battery strap. Uh, I think, yeah, this I got two of them. There should be another one in there. Um, so that's nice. I got two of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them both at the same time or just because if I need an extra one. But there they are. Little simple battery straps are like a dollar each. And we have, this should be, uh, let me see. Yeah, this should be the Naze. I got the Naze 32 board. So here's the bag with all the connectors and pins and cables. I got the unsoldered version just because I wanted to put my own pins on um, to make it a little bit easier for the build and the way that I want them to go on. And also it was five bucks cheaper. And if any of you know, I'm pretty cheap and don't have too much money. So let's open this up. There we go. It just fell off. Now let's get this out. And I'm going to keep this box like uh, RC Model Review says, because I've already watched all his build videos, like seven hours, and they were so good. He says to keep that to use for the build. Um, so there we have the Naze 32. I'll focus on that there. As you can see, that's pretty cool. I've never had a circuit board like this either. Um, the Afrofight, and, and I didn't get the one with the barometer and compass. Um, those spots are empty over here, but um, I don't need that for what I'm going to use. I'm just making a mini quad. And then we have... Uh, my receiver, and I chose to get the Free Sky D4R2, which seems to be a very popular receiver among every, almost everybody. And we got a couple cables here, not too sure what they are for, um, but I'm sure I'll find out later. And then we have a little, I don't really know what those little black things are. Maybe they're um, bind plugs or something. I don't know. I'll have to ask. And then we have our two antennas here, so we have diversity and really cool receiver, nice and small and compact, should do the job really well. And I'll link all this stuff from at least um, if Banggood and Hobby King below if you wanted to get any of these parts or if you're needing a part or if you see something you just want. I'll link it all below so you can check it out or if you want to follow along. I'm not going to do build videos though because mine probably wouldn't be very good. Um, and here we have, I got Hobby King um, Loctite, I got the blue one, I made sure to get blue, so if the screws can be undone, just not very easily. Because, I wouldn't do build videos because uh, RC Model Reviews already did way better than I ever could. Um, and here we have a little, I bought, I found this while I was checking out actually, and added it to my cart real quick. It is um, a little antenna stand. It's basically just two pieces that um, clip together. And it works, it, even in the picture, it had a D4R2 with it, with the two antennas, and it holds them up at a 90 degree angle from each other, and it actually comes with two in there, so if you break one, and this was like $3, so that's really nice. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of stuff here. Man, it's so exciting, I've never had anything hobby grade before, and I'm just diving into it all at once. I don't think I'm going to take these out of the bag in the video, just because, but here I got five Afro 12 amp ESCs in case one goes bad again. So I got five there, so that's really cool. Yep, five, yep, five. Okay, got that. Now let's get to this smashed box. So let's cut that open. Um, hopefully, it shouldn't be broken. I'm pretty sure it's the battery. Okay, get into that. And then we have a little air pocket popped. 
Uh, four air pockets, three out of four are popped. <laughs> Man, Hobby King. Well, I guess not their fault, it's USPS. And I got, looks like a little order sheet and a uh, warning again. I'll throw those. <laughs> okay, throw the box. Now we've got this box, which is um, smashed a little bit too, so that's concerning. Let me get into here. Another warning. Don't need that. <laughs> uh, I know what I'm doing, sort of. And if not, I ask. Okay, and we got a little thing of bubble wrap, but these are almost all popped. <laughs> I don't know why everything's popped. And then we have the... I got this. It's the Turnigy 9XR Lifey 2200 milliamp hour. Um, I believe it's a 1.5C discharge rate. Um, so that works really well for transmitters, and it's an 11.1 .1 volt pack. And um, if since I got this, you can imagine what this box must be. So now let's get into the very last thing. Uh, got so much stuff here. It's like so exciting. Okay. Like that. Okay, there we go. I got that open. And looking at it, this is over 11 minutes so far. Sorry about that. So we got another order sheet, which throw out. Two more bubble things, one popped. And then I think six more bubble things, none of them popped though. And this box actually just showed up with FedEx. I got FedEx Gram with it. Two more, or three more warnings, probably in a couple different languages. Don't need those. <laughs> okay, so let's get this out. Man, it was stuck in there. Okay, that's it there, so don't need that. There we go, the Turnigy 9XR Pro. And I would have got the 9XR, but I don't believe they manufacture it anymore. Um, that's, um, so I had to get this, and this was $105 from US free shipping. However, I got it, I bought it on the 4th of July by coincidence, and it was a sale, and I got it for 88 so I got like $20 discount. Um, so that's really nice. Little beat up down in the corner here, but, uh, should be okay, it doesn't look too bad. Let's open that. Oops. Drop my little maze box. And then start the phone. Okay. Then we have the remote here. Oh man, that's cool. And then we have styrofoam in the box. I'll keep that box though, it's a nice box. Looks like we have a manual here, I'll save that. And uh looks like single uh little piece of foam with sticky tape. I don't know what that's for, but that could be nice. Um, and then we have a bag protecting the radio and a little clear screen. There we go, my first hobby grade radio. Let's see what the oh man, those sticks feel nice. Oh man, that's nice. It's a little bit big for my hands. I mean, I have small hands, but I don't really know which switches I'll be using, but I'll adjust to it. Probably just hold it up higher so I can use the switches. I know people have complained about this trainer switch being that far back, um, but I'll get used to it. I've got a couple different knobs here, on off switch, and let's look at the, and I got the, uh, I got a FreeSky DJT module from Banggood, it just hasn't showed up yet. And then the battery, let's actually plug this in, it goes in, ooh, ooh man, <laughs> almost knocked the camera right off. Let's fix that, oh boy, hold on. <laughs> Gotta fix that. Okay. That's good enough. So, let's plug this battery in and see what happens. Make sure I plug it in the right way. Okay, let's go around and turn it on. Alert, rudder, aileron. It was saying something. I didn't know it talked, but okay. There we go. It's got ready up here. It tells you the pack voltage. Okay, that's cool. That was good enough for right now. I'll unplug it and get back to that. And I'll put the cover back on. This is going to be, even though I don't have the other parts yet and I can't um, start building yet, this is going to be just a lot of fun sorting through this and just looking at what I got. So there we go. That was my ZMR250 quadcopter parts unboxing part one. And this is my Hobby King order. And as you can see, I got a lot of stuff. And I'm really excited right now. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for part two, which will be my Banggood and eBay orders coming soon. 
And um, I'm not going to do build videos like I said, but I will do definitely maiden flights and a couple other flights once I get good with it. And I'm eventually going to add FPV. So stay tuned for that. I know this is a long video. It's not 15 minutes right now, but um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next video. Bye.